And guns were part of the haul made by lawmen today, but they say the raids were aimed at something much bigger. And they hit the mark. The arrest of the men accused of pushing more than a ton of heroin onto the streets of America last year. Frank Grimes reports. Early this morning, 300 city cops, federal drug agents, and state police from the Federal Drug Enforcement Task Force arrested 38 people in 22 locations, mostly in New York City. They're charged with running nine wholesale drug rings, seven of which allegedly sold heroin with a total street value of $2 billion. Using search warrants, cops and agents recovered two kilos of drugs, hundreds of thousands of dollars, weapons, including sawed-off shotguns and Uzi automatic machine guns. These arrests, uh, complaints, and indictments constitute one of the most effective blows yet delivered in New York against the alleged major organization supplying and profiting from the sale of heroin and cocaine. The arrests were the result of a two-and-a-half-year investigation that started with information gleaned from the police department's Operation Pressure Point. That's the title of New York City Police Commissioner Ben Ward's plan to clean up drugs on the Lower East Side of Manhattan, which is where, officials say, the heroin rings distributed most of the 2,200 pounds of heroin they sold each year. 2,200 pounds of pure heroin a year is approximately one-sixth of the entire heroin availability in the United States of America and approximately 30% of the heroin availability in New York City. To put it in human terms, 2,200 pounds of heroin a year would be enough to supply between 90 and 100,000 addicts daily of their entire heroin, at, her, of their entire heroin uh, usage for one year. Officials say the nine groups operated separately, but at times were interrelated. Three of the suspects are alleged members of the Lucchese organized crime family. U.S. Attorney Rudolph Giuliani says it takes a lot of time, money, and effort to build a case like this. He said he hopes if those arrested today are eventually convicted, the sentencing judge will follow the example set yesterday by federal court judge Kevin Duffy. Duffy gave alleged organized crime figures maximum terms in jail. For some, that meant 155 years sentences. But what you have to do is to create a deterrent for them and to show that no matter how powerful they are and no matter how rich they are, they can get caught, and uh, if they are convicted, they're going to go to prison forever. 